Take a look at this set of code. What's happening here which is different? I'm going to run it again. You can see that I've put a loop in place. So that I'm looping a year six computing. How many times can you see that on the screen? If we were using block code, we'd put this in a repeat. But what the block code's really doing is put in a counting place. Let's take a look at how that works. Once again, I've got my variable, but I'm just calling it year six computing this time. This is the interesting part here. This is my for. What I've done is I've set a variable, a number variable, to count up. And it keeps counting between 1 and 10. And every time it does that, it's going to do something. I'm going to print X and it's going to stop doing it. Let's try try it again. So I'm using a 4. I have to put a variable in just so it knows what to count. And I usually use I in computing. So I is going to start counting at 1. Put a comma in, it's going to end counting at let's say 10 again. You might have to play with some numbers and it's going to do something. This is what I want it to do. I want it to not use a tab function just to put my code in so it's a little bit clearer. I want it to print. And it just have to stop doing anything inside that far block because anything I type now it would do 10 times. So once I've finished doing what I want it to do, I'm going to click end. Let's look at that again. I've set my variable at the beginning and I've said whenever between 1 and 10, count up from i equals 1 up to i equals 10, each time do this. Print equals x. Clear my screen. Let's run my code, see if it works. Excellent. And now if I wanted to do more than that, do it a thousand times. Clear my screen. And it won't fit a thousand on the screen, so it would look like it keeps going. Just keep going forever. See if you can put in a loop into your coding.